In this video, I am going to show you how to use TikTok on your laptop. So, in my opinion, TikTok is the best productivity app out there because of how simple it is and because of all the features which it has, like creating a to-do list or a Pomodoro timer and many more. So, without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. The first thing you need to do is install TikTok. For that, open your browser. After that, just search for TikTok. It's T I C K T I C K. Then click on the first link over here, and you'll find an option called Download. So just click on that. Then scroll down, and based on your device, download the app. So they have an option for Mac and Linux as well. For now, I'll just download the Windows version. So I'll click on Download app, and as you can see, it's getting downloaded over here. So once it's downloaded and you've installed it. You'll reach this page over here. You'll have to sign up if you don't have an account, or else you can just sign in. So they have many options to sign in. They have email or Google, and they have other options like Facebook, Twitter, or using your Apple ID. So select whichever one you want. I'll select Google for now. Then I'll select my email address, and now as you can see, I'm signed in. So first, I'll give you a brief overview of TikTok. So this is the home screen. And here you can create tasks and see all of them. Then on the left, there's a column where you can see your tasks for today, the next seven days, and the other ones in your inbox. After that, they have things like lists and tags. I'll talk about all of them later in the video. And the last column on the left are all the different pages in TikTok. So now let's get to the first thing, and that's creating a task. It's extremely simple. All you've got to do is type in the task. Over here, so I can just type buy grocery. Then the next thing to do is add the deadline. So click on the calendar icon that's over here, and here you can select the deadline. So I can select any date. After that, I can select the time by clicking on time. Then I can decide if I want a reminder for this. So if I click on it, then you have options over here, like five minutes early or one hour early. You can select whichever one you want, and the last option is repeat. So if you want to repeat this every Thursday, you can just select repeat, and they have options like daily, weekly, monthly, or custom. So I'll quickly show you custom. If you click on it, then here you can decide which days of the week you'll want to keep it. So I can keep Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I can just click on OK. As you can see. It's going to give this task at 11 a.m. every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So now I'll just click on OK. And then the last option is if you click on this arrow over here, which is More, then you have a few more options like giving this a priority. So red is the most important, and gray is the least. After that, you can add this to lists, which I'll show you in a bit, or you can add tags to this. So a tag is basically like a hashtag which you'll attach to a task, and then you can filter out tasks using the tag. So I'll just add one for now. I can call this Home. I'll just click on Create Tag, and click on Save. So as you can see, the tag Home has gotten added here. So now all tasks which are related to Home, you can just add hashtag Home to them, and then it'll become much easier to filter them. So now that we're done adding a task. We can click on Enter, and as you can see, it's come here. And the same way, you can create more tasks from here. I'll just show you a couple of more things that you can do. If you just click on the task, then on the right, you can add descriptions to it. And if you've completed a task, you can just click on this checkbox over here. And now it's gone for today. So now that we know how to create a task, I'll show you how to create a list. So a list is similar to a playlist in YouTube, and in this, you can save all of your tasks which are related to a certain topic. So I can create a list such as home and work, and then I can separate my tasks by saving them in different lists. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll just click on plus that's written next to lists, and then I'll give it a name. You can give it a color. After that, next to type. 
You can decide if you want this to be a task list or note list. I'll select task and then save. As you can see, it's come here. The same way, I'll quickly create one for home. So now, both have come here. And what you can do is that based on the task you want to add, you can select one of these lists. So let's say I want to add a task related to work. I'll select work and then I can just add the task on top. And now, as you can see, this task is saved under work. So now we know all about creating tasks, lists and tags. And I'll show you a few more features and settings which they have. And I'm going to start with the Pomodoro timer. For that, click on your account's logo on the top left and click on settings. After that, go to focus timer that's over here. And here you can set a daily focus timer. So if you select the first checkbox, you can decide how many timers you want to go through every day. Then you can select the total duration of the timer and the POMO duration. So the POMO duration is a small focus period after which you'll get a short break. And you have all of these settings over here. Then the next feature which I really like is the Eisenhower matrix. So just enable it and I'll show you how it works. So if you see on the left, there's a new page added over here, which is the Eisenhower matrix. And if I click on it, here I can see all of my tasks in a different format. So they've categorized all of them based on the urgency and importance. And I find this extremely helpful to know what tasks I need to focus on. So if you want to add a task to urgent and unimportant, you can just click on plus and then add it over here. And as you can see, it's added. Then the third feature, which I really like is habits. So this is auto enabled and it's this page that's over here. Just click on it. And here, what you can do is add any habit which you want to change. So if you click on the plus button that's here, then you can enter what you want to change. So let's say I want to work out every day. I can just add a workout. Then I can select the frequency. So the same way you can select whichever days you want. After that, you can set your goal and you can also set the number of days you want to continue doing this for. So if I select this, there are options like forever for seven days, 21 days. So select whichever one you want. After that, I can add a reminder if I want, and then I can click on save. And as you can see, workout is added over here. And every time you finish a workout, you can check one of these circles here. And as you can see, they've given some statistics over here. After this, I think there's one last feature, which is extremely useful. So again, go to settings and then select smart recognition. Then next to smart date passing, just select this and then don't touch any other setting. So how this works is that if you add a date or a time in your task, then it'll automatically set that as the deadline. So I'll create a new task and I'll add a day to that. So I've written finish project and now I'll write by Friday. And as you can see, Friday has gotten highlighted. And if I just click on enter, then here you can see on Friday, I have to finish my project. So I find this extremely useful because if you're in a hurry, you can quickly type in your task with the date and time and it'll automatically set that as the deadline. There's one more feature, which I feel is really useful. And that's adding a desktop widget of TickTick. For that, open the start menu and just search for TickTick. And here you'll find an option called add list widget. So just select that. And as you can see, a widget has come on the desktop. So I can move it around. So this makes it extremely convenient to go through all of your tasks and add new ones if you want to. So if you've completed some tasks, then you can check them from the desktop itself like this. As you can see, it's gone. And if you want to add new ones, you can just type them in on top. Then click on enter. And as you can see, it's come over here. And there's one more thing that you can do is lock this widget. 
If you click on the three dots, there'll be an option called lock. And now it's locked, so it won't even come in your way. Now I'll go back to tick tick. So these are all of the major features and settings, and I'll quickly show you some minor ones. Again, click on your accounts icon on the top left. Then click on appearance. And this can be used to change the theme of the app. So they have some options on top, or else you can just set this to your laptop's theme. So I'll select that and click on save. And now as you can see, it's in dark mode. And then they have some more settings which are related to date and time, notifications, and you can just go through them from here. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to use this on your phone, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.